Tennis spins gone crazy. <laughs> Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So I just went to the drugstore and got some crazy glue. What am I going to do with it? Stay tuned. All right, guys, uh, thanking my, ooh, okay, sorry, guys, I'm just, Jeff Lucas is my coffee sponsor of the day. My buddy Jeff and I and Maz and, and Gordon, the four of us worked together at uh, Lombardi Sports like 20 years ago. Those were the great days. So uh, Jeff is, Jeff is a, uh, hooking me up. He's in Hawaii. Um, I was just shocked to see his name here. He's like, how are you doing, Harry? Been a while, buddy. Uh, we should hang with Maz and Gordon when I'm up there this summer. Maybe some tennis and lunch or something uh, like that. Aloha and enjoy. Keep the content coming. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, Jeff was like the backbone of Lombardi's. He knew everything that we all knew and he was man just a prized possession so i appreciate your work when you were there i appreciate the coffee um hope you're doing well in hawaii and uh, we'll see you uh this summer uh, let me know you know send me a message we'll we'll get together okay those are just the good old days uh if you want to support my coffee habit network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all in advance and thank you for keeping it going. Yeah, it's great to, you know, hear from old friends. Okay, so gloves. So what am I going to do with this crazy glue today? Um, well, I remember back in the day when I had to deal with um, two people that basically broke strings all the time. They were literally breaking pro blend. So I was like, let's try crazy gluing their strings together so it doesn't break. And that's been like 20 plus years. So I know somebody who breaks strings way too much too. And that's Coach Goo. He goes through this Torbite 16 like potato chips every two, three days. Um, I got to string his racket. So I'm going to crazy glue his mains and crosses together so that they don't move. As you guys hopefully know, breaking strings is from friction. It's from movement. So it's like sawing, right? It's not from hitting it hard and flat. Okay. So I don't know if you remember the commercial on this, but for those of you who are probably 40 years old and up, they had this commercial in the 70s, into the 80s, possibly into the 90s, where um, it's like, you can't say it these days anymore, but it's like, country's going crazy, crazy for crazy glue. Do you remember that? And then they had this guy with this, working helmet on and he glued himself to a beam just like that picture right there do you remember that let me know if you remember that i would love to hear um you guys kind of reminisce with me a bit a bit about that stuff so here's the thing i know that goo breaks strings about here third string over the fourth string over the fifth string over so i'm going to concentrate on this kind of area and this area right here he doesn't break strings okay. down here. So I'm going to go right here. I can't let him know that I'm doing this though. So what I'm doing is I'm just bonding the, the string so they don't move. Just finishing it up here. Let's hand it to Coach Goo. I'm actually going to give it to him right now. And then I'm going to hit with him later on and see what his thoughts are. See you on the court.
right, so I actually handed it to Coach Goo like two days ago already, and I said, try it out. Let me know what you think. And, and he, he said it in a very suspicious way. And he, he, he actually looked at it, and he goes, what kind of coating did you put on my thing? And I'm like, you smarter than you look. Here, no, because I know something <laughs> suspicious comes out of your freaking mouth the whole time. Tell me how it felt, my man. Uh, crap. No, I'm kidding. Um, it, it, it felt interesting. Um, I'm not going to lie. The first few balls I hit, I started to realize after it bounced, it actually dies off. And that was really surprising. I was like, Harry, what the hell you do? <laughs> so, like, I, was, I felt like I was trying to rip. So, like I felt like I had to over rip the ball in order to get it to kick more, but somehow it like dies off. So after the bounce, it just completely like starts fading off, which is really weird. I like I have no idea what he put on. If he damages my racket, he's paying for it. He's buying me like five other new ones. Is that not, is that right here? Okay, fine. It's only the strings, dude. Don't, yeah. be, don't be so melodramatic. So it, the one who uses my racket for all the te- best experience. Guinea pig, right here. Anyways, all right, so, <laughs> all right, so um, here's what I saw on the other side of his balls. Usually the ball would jump, right? It actually came at me a little bit more, so it didn't kick as much. It looked flat. Yeah, definitely a lot more flatter, but it looked like you were trying to kick it, but it like it, it, wouldn't, it, go. it wouldn't take off. It wouldn't take off. So that's what I saw. But I felt like you had a little more ball speed coming through, though. Well, so, if I if I try to drive it, it, it was easier to drive. Right. That way. Right. It was a lot easier to drive, but creating toss spin was pretty tough. So, did you figure out what I did, or do you want me to? I, I know it's a coating. I know you put some coating on. I don't know what the heck what kind of coating you put on. Uh, put some super glue on it. Yeah. <laughs> Not super, but crazy glue. <laughs> Close so, enough. So. So what I did was, um, I you can see how unhappy I, put I am. The right edges, now. you know, see like where it meets. No, I know where you put that. <laughs> I was wondering why. I was like, why can I not move this freaking thing? So back in my day, we did that so the strings wouldn't break. You guys are idiots. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just that makes no sense. But when now, you try to put it on poly. That makes no sense. But actually, it's, I mean, it's fine now. He knocked off all the crazy glue. Not really. Look at that still. It's still fine. It'll still hold it in place. Actually, I would like to see how long it takes for you to break this. Because now that it's gone, um, there's still a little residue left, but not much. I hate you. Um, But let's see how long it lasts. Don't you guys want to know how long it lasts now? You know what? You know what we used to do is we reapplied it after it started moving. So... But we also hit a lot flatter back then. But Coach Goo will kill me if I did that. So I'm just going to leave it as is. You, you, will, you, you probably won't see Harry ever again at this point. <laughs> well, thank you for being my guinea pig. I appreciate you. Um, it's back to normal now since you knocked it off. But it actually felt okay. I mean, I didn't mind it at all after you yeah, knocked it all you off. Yeah, because you used to play. Yeah, I knocked it all off. <laughs> so guys, don't try this at home. I'm just messing around. Um, it, it you actually, made me try it. it. It actually prevents it from snapping. Therefore, the ball doesn't actually take off 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 of the bounce. So, um, yeah. If you hit flat, by all means, go for it. It'll hold tension uh, really well for you. All right. I want to thank my man, Coach Goo, for uh, yeah, being my guinea pig and trying out the crazy glue on the string. Goo, where can we find you? Find me at AG.Tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Yeah, we're going to make sure it sticks. He won't be alive. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Sky, great playing today, man. Thanks. Good hitting. Oh, thank you. My arm doesn't feel right. Uh Uh-oh. Interesting. I got something. Hang on, hang on. See? I don't feel a thing. Wow, my arm doesn't feel a thing. It feels great. See? I told you. All right, Harry, one more shot. I'm gonna go real big. 